Come on, let's see. Let's see what we can get. 26 Ancient and a Dream of, of Clamber. Start with Epic. Oh my god! <laughs> Well, this is a good clan boss champion, and this is gonna be my next six star. Hey guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are back on the free to play, and we're obviously going to test our luck for these two times ancients. It seems like I got myself another ancient shard in the meantime from you know farming the Fire Knight because. Honestly, in the last few days, that's what I was doing. I already showcased in one of my previous videos. If you didn't check it out yet, make sure you go check it out. And I kind of explain the team that I'm using, you know, the importance of presets and what variations or like what other champions you can use to replace for the sake of that team. And, you know, by farming that, I'm quite sure I got myself a pretty decent amount of uh, what's called regeneration gear. And I already finished <laughs> the top milestone. Just been using my normal energy and already got the top milestone i'm leading right now so you know i'm hoping to keep this if i see somebody pushes i'm gonna try to you know keep my lead because why not you know i would not mind getting the six star uh, relentless epic gear because you know it's it's not as often that you can actually win the, uh, win these groups so i'm gonna try my luck with that and if i have a quick look right now i'm quite sure i'm gonna see a ton of regeneration gear because you know what it was three times regen and look at this there's actually quite a few of it and honestly the first thing that i'm hoping is to have a speed boot okay i have a speed boot as hp defense percent hp percent defense percent and flat hp this could be good maybe let's see an accuracy chest okay accuracy chest with again attack percent crit rate crit damage so this might not be the best if it rolls at least twice in crit rate that's gonna be better for my for my uh tomb lord and then a crit rate glove i have a crit rate glove with speed and crit damage so this is straight up shows me that like okay i have the gear for uh for my tomb lord maybe let's see speed critter and accuracy i would have the weapon for him so damn, that's good that is good stuff that is definitely good stuff speed and accuracy i have this good shield so it was a success it was a success i'm gonna start leveling these up but maybe not today i think i'm gonna wait yeah there's no event going on i'm going to be waiting for an event to pop up maybe next week during cvc because i got some silver in the meantime i need to go and cleanse the gear that i got and i'm gonna go for something good but in the meantime we have the champion chase and this is an interesting one that they released if you have not seen if you're level 1 to 50 you have a chance if you get forced to get thales yeah if you're level 50 to 80 you have a chance to get a shemnath and if you're level 81 to 90 let me check i forgot which one it is it's the end of end of winter activities so for those ones yeah if you're level 81 uh, up to 100 yep there you go. <laughs> you can get yourself a Corvus the Corruptor. I mean, honestly, all three champions are pretty amazing. Uh, arguably, Corvus is the best one because he's put in there. He's kind of one of those ones that can solo farm stuff. And yeah, that's this is definitely pretty awesome. If you don't already have a Tomb Lord, Battle Cazar, or somebody else that can easily solo farm stuff for you, he's worth going for. But at the same time, in my group, there's a Shemnath. I would not mind getting her because she can slam pretty hard. Like, I already have Shield Guard, and I guess I already have Ronda as new curse, but Shemnath is next level. Shemnath is next level because she's kind of like a baby seer with this one. Attacks only me twice. First hit removes all buffs, kind of like a seer. Then the second hit ignores 20% of target's defense against targets that have no active buffs. So this can slam pretty good. Decrease defense on the A1 on double hit that goes to 50%, which is pretty amazing. And it's each hit. So this one's kind of should almost guarantee always have a decreased defense and then this one's the triple hit that uh, increases the duration of all debuffs on one target increase decreases the duration of all buffs and increases the duration of all buffs on herself triple hit again and then the passive gives her more accuracy for each buff on the enemy so this this is this is good when it comes to like you know the buff ship on this one so i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to win it obviously but you never know i got lucky a while back like the last time i think it was the two times ancients or was it two times void or seconds? I don't remember, but I got lucky last time and actually managed to get my first place in that time. <clears throat> I got a feast. So again, this time around, I'm not sure. If I have somebody that's like, you know, gonna wail out, I have no chance, but maybe from these 100, I might stand a chance. Who knows? I'm still gonna be pulling all my ancient shards because I'm looking for somebody for clan boss, guys. I really want somebody for clan boss because you know what? Okay, Tomb Lord can work then Ronda can work, Lissandra can work, but there's only one champion that I currently have built that I'm using for sake of clan boss that's specifically good for clan boss and that's Anax because you know a decreased defense, weakened, poisons, like he has a pretty pretty good kit and one thing I forgot about this 
This one can proc every single time. So he has an inbuilt survivability. His base defense is pretty low, but because he has this one that, that can pop every time he goes under 75% HP, that increased defense can be huge. The only problematic thing with him is this one that, you know, if you get under 10% and gets an extra turn, it can fall out of sync if you make a speed tune team. But for the sake of a killable team, which is like, you know, realizing the increased attack, added protection, all that stuff. If you get to a point where they start going under 10%, the run's almost over. So this one is not going to be the biggest problem. It can be a problem, but it's not going to be the biggest problem. So now let's see. I have 26 shards. I Do I have space? No, I need to make some space. Let me, let me make myself a little bit of space. I'm just putting all the people that I already have built in here. And then I'm going to start pulling those 20. I think this one's fine, right? 20... 63 plus 60 i'm gonna go on 69 <laughs> giggity i'm gonna go exactly on 69 so <clears throat> let's have a look and wish me luck so far i've been insanely lucky when it comes to the ancient shards can i continue the trend honestly don't really want i'm not sure i care about horima like she's amazing but i'm not sure she's gonna be that helpful for the sake of me like a decreased attack on the a1 is pretty good the passive can be interesting, but I'm not sure she's somebody I'm looking for. I'd rather get, honestly, guys, I'd rather get some good epics for the sake of clan boss. Like, you know, the Toragi the Frogs, then who else? Who else are good ally protectors, actually? Let me have a look. So from those rear guard, Sajjad could be interesting. A Skull Crusher could be huge because, you know what, he brings counter attack. And ally protection, again, that can be pretty huge. So somebody like that, an ally protector. I mean, to be fair, if I would get an unkillable champ, such as a Rosh card or a Hellcat, I would not mind. But I have plenty of good legendaries on my account. And I don't want to always be like, you know, my progress is is just shown uh, because of my champions. I want to actually see what I can do. So come on, let's see. Let's see what we can get. 26 Ancient and a Dream of, of Clamba. Start with Epic. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, this is a good clan boss champion, and this is gonna be my next six star. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is the right way to start, guys, with a freaking Geomancer. Like, that's it, I won. That's it, I won. HP burn, weaken, removes buffs, damage mitigation on the passive, HP in all battles, A1s and AoE with decrease accuracy can be helpful for certain stuff, but... Geomancer is the god of gods. Not only is he good for clan boss, he's good for the sake of Hydra. He's good. He's basically good for any type of boss encounter. Even the Sand Devil, Iron Twins. Like, Iron Twins, he's the, he's the only one that can do the crazy stuff. So this is a good start. Like, I already won. I don't care what I get. I mean, if I get another Rare Protection as well, that would be huge. But that's a good start. <coughs> another Epic. Okay, Masamoto. He's interesting because he has an A with decreased attack on this one. It's not 100%, but his A2 is pretty good. Increased defense and turn meter boost. This one can be pretty helpful. I'm not sure I'm going to build him just yet, even though he's spirit and I have, you know, shield guard that does defense based damage, but I'm not sure I'm going to build him. He can be good if, you know, worst case scenario, he's going to be good for faction ones. Damn, that's a good start. I just started and it's already amazing. Okay, we get a rare in Hospitaler. Yep, she could have been interesting early on for increased speed, increased crit rate, but not really. She's just going to pair with Harrier in the food department. So, moving on. Damn. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, now the rare is going to be another hospital. No, this one's a lamellar. Nothing too interesting. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see. Another epic. Okay, Tainix Hate Flower. She's pretty interesting, but... I don't think I'm going to build her anytime soon. She's going to be at 40, good for sake of faction. Well, if she crits, she can put AoE decrease speed, and she can heal on the A1 if, if uh, she attacks targets under decrease speed, and she kind of brings a bit of damage mitigation, and then this one's for faction war. So she's a login champion. She You get her, I think, at day 210 or something like that. She can be interesting, but definitely not going to build her for the sake of my team, just for faction wars. Okay, rare champion. And we have an Hexweaver that does heal. This one, increase crit rate, increase speed, decrease accuracy, speed in factions. Again, maybe faction wars. <sighs> let's do 10 pops. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Let's see. Another epic for the sake of faction wars. That's what I'm looking for. Epic for the sake of faction wars. Can I... Uh, no faction wars. Clan boss. Is it going to be a tax now? <laughs> okay, Sikara. Sikara is not that bad because she can smack pretty hard on this one. She can smack pretty hard on this one. So... She's definitely going to be huge. You know what? Especially for my faction wars, because my, uh, I guess as for faction wars, I got faction wars. My faction war team, 
that's the best for me is the barbarians because i have shield guard i have uh, jumarsa i have like then i'm gonna get her so i'm quite sure i'm gonna build her at a certain point at least at 50 for the sake of faction wars she requires a ton of books so i don't think i'm ever gonna book her but you know i'll take faction wars champions i'm pushing that and the reason I keep saying Faction Wars is you get those forging materials, guys, for the sake of perceptual resilience, and you definitely want that. Anybody else in here that looks interesting? Uh, Iron Clan I might keep for some stuff, but nothing crazy. Last temp up. Come on. Ally protection, something. Something for the sake of Clan Boss. An epic for Clan Boss. Oh, very good of that. Oh, my Grindel Yarl again for Clan Boss. Dude. Oh, and a legendary. Ooh, another poison. <laughs> what the hell's this luck? Amazing for clan boss. Poisons, HP burn, decrease defense A1, ally attack, grizzled yarl, uh, increase defense and block debuffs on the A2, then A we decrease attack on this one, but requires a ton of books. It's on a fourth cooldown though, so not the best. Then heat reduction, which we don't really care. The rest is interesting. Again, decrease resist, but not sure I'm gonna build her. And then we gotta reach out the ball. Dude, how many legendaries can I keep getting on this account? Oh my god. This one's gonna pair again perfectly. Banner Lords. She's uh, it's gonna pair perfectly with uh with my what's her name? Uh, Rhonda for the sake of the Banner Lords. Damn. So basically what is huge about him is this one. Text one enemy three times. Each hit places a 5% poison debuff on all enemies. So basically now I just need an AoE Poison Exploder. I need a Xavier, I need an Eleanoril, and I can build myself a Poison Team. I have Rich Tough, I have Tomb Lord, I have Taurus. <laughs> and yeah, oh my god, <laughs> it's huge. Oh my god, how many legendaries can I get on this account? It's insane. So I still don't have an ally protection in the epics, but I have Geo, Farrakhan, Grizzle Yard. These three straight up scream clan boss for me. Then I just need, like I said, ally protection. Like, worst case scenario, I'm actually gonna build the Myrmidon. If I really need an ally protection. Or I just go straight up fast damage with Anax as well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. This is insane, guys. Like, damn. Damn, this was a lucky session. I'm not pulling anything else. Obviously, if I'm gonna get more Ancients over the, over the, the course of this weekend, I'm gonna pull them. But I definitely have champions to work on. Like... Guys, who do you think I should build next? Leave it in the comments below. In my opinion, I think the next 6 star should be Geomancer, then Farrakhan, and then maybe Grizzled Yard. I might wait on Grizzled Yard to decide to see if, you know, maybe I get lucky or I get something else. But he could be good because, like I said, for the sake of making it affinity friendly, the block debuffs is pretty good. At least to, you know, block the stun. And then the increased defense is huge. Because if I put this before the stun, everybody gets increased defense. Like, he would be the last one. But everybody else is going to have decreased defense at least for the first AOE. Because on the second one, it's going to wear off. But damn. Damn the luck on this account. I wish this, I wish this decreased attack was on a 4 turn cooldown. I wish this attack was the decreased attack. Because it's on 2 turns. But it's a 4 turn cooldown. Mm, mm. Still, still, he's gonna be good. But yeah, this is gonna be my lucky Sharpool session as always, guys. If you do enjoy my content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I guess I'm gonna see you all in the next one uh, tomorrow or possibly Sunday because tomorrow's a busy day for me. But yeah, thank you all for watching and see you next time. Peace.